Okay artists, now that I have my tracing materials, I'm going to take one page of my sketchbook, my little art book here, and I'm going to make an abstract drawing by tracing my shapes and overlapping them. Watch what I mean. Let's say, remember that cool triangle I made? I'm going to trace my triangle right up here in the paper because that's where I want it to go. And I'm going to trace real carefully because artists, we want these really clean, straight lines. That's one of the reasons why we have the shapes. But I want to add, ooh, I want to add a big circle to my triangle. I'm going to overlap. So I'm going to put my circle on top of my triangle and trace it to see what happens. And see artists, now I have this really cool sort of curvy triangle shape. And now my circle has this sort of triangle bottom through it, which is pretty neat. And so I want to keep trying this with my shapes. I want to try overlapping them to see what kinds of new shapes I can make. See, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six different shapes, but I've only traced three, right? That's kind of cool. And artists, you can trace the same shape again. Like I want to add a big circle again to see what I can find over here. I think this is starting to look pretty interesting. What if I trace a shape in the corner? I don't even have the full shape. What happens if I just trace one part of it? Look, it made a little triangle up there. That's pretty neat. Now, artists, I will warn you, you can trace too many shapes pretty easily. So if you are tracing a bunch of shapes and overlapping a bunch of them, You'll end up with a whole lot of lines, and it can be kind of hard to see um, the shapes that you're working with. So see how now I have quite a few shapes, but I still have some blank space. That's what we're looking for, artists. So let's keep tracing our shapes and overlapping them for a little while longer.